the old painting. A man named Ray Turner is a funeral director who visits haunted places and collects supposedly haunted artifacts and other strange collectibles. Recently, he acquired an old haunted painting that has quite a story attached to it and was even interviewed by the Liverpool Echo about it. As some of you may know, I collect haunted artifacts from various locations. Also, is that an orb? Anyway, I was recently interviewed by the Liverpool Echo specifically regarding this haunted painting I recently acquired. It details a scene of Wigan Town Centre from the 1940s and allegedly the artist took his own life after creating this picture. The atmosphere in the house has altered since this was brought in and this morning just proves my theory this is haunted. He says ever since acquiring this particular painting he has noticed a strange change in the atmosphere of the house and just recently creepy paranormal events have started to occur. Early one morning he is woken up to some banging noises coming from around the house, even though he is alone. So he decides to record as he goes to check it out. This is what he captures. You can hear banging coming from downstairs. It won't be up this morning, but there shouldn't be anybody down here. Hello? Oh my god. Hello? <gasps> Hello? What the fuck? Oh, Will, are you okay? Hello? Oh my god, what's going on? First, a glass drops on the floor all on its own and then an object on the table moves before a creepy muffled voice can be heard. Hello? I can't make out what it's saying but it kind of sounds like a demonic voice talking backwards. Oddly enough, the creepy events seem to stop shortly after they occurred and nothing happens for a while. That is, until just a few days ago when he was sleeping on the sofa and happened to wake up to some banging noises once again. Some bizarre things are going on in here. I fell asleep on the couch this afternoon. I can hear strange banging noises and there's like child's fingerprints on the mirror. See, can you hear it? This is the frame that's previously caused us a bit of trouble. He finds a small handprint on the mirror that looks like it belongs to a child and hears a bang straight after. But as he looks around he finds nothing there. He then decides to go back upstairs. But the noises just keep happening. So he ends up coming to check once more and sees something chilling. Watch. Oh, do you know I can almost see my breath. It's gone icy cold in here. Freezing. What the fuck? What the fuck? So not only am I dealing with the candles blowing out on the road and the fucking cornflakes falling off, the cat's going mad now. What's he looking at? You all right, mate? What are you doing? Nothing there. What the fuck? Don't go out there. Fuck, don't go. Stay here. I'm not following you out there. I don't know what on earth is going on in this house today. As you can see from those clips as well, the cat's acting really strange. He's been doing that for ages now looking around the room, darting back and forth like that. Then, as you could hear as well, there was like banging noise in the kitchen and both of them ran out there. When I've gone in after it, there's nothing there. I don't know what the hell is going on in this house. There's been nothing for ages, nothing at all. But just today, there's been an atmosphere as well. It's Something's changed. I'm staying upstairs until my partner gets home because it's terrified me, to be honest. The candles blow out on their own and some objects fall off the table by themselves. And viewers also notice that you can see a shadow move just through the doorway and the cats seem to be drawn to this direction as if curious by the activity. One of the cats was acting strange looking all around the room as if it could see something unseen. Either way, it doesn't look like you'll be getting rid of the old painting anytime soon. So, we will most likely see more from him again.
intruder. This is why you always lock your doors. On August 25th of 2023, a family submitted a horrifying video captured by their home surveillance cameras, where a disturbed man is seen searching their property around 2 a.m. The man first tries breaking into a neighboring car, but after no success, he moves towards the family's house and starts looking through the windows. Unable to break in, he manages to open the front neighbor's car, but doesn't seem to find what he's looking for, so he goes back home. An hour or so later, the man comes back, armed with a machete, aggressively seeking an unsuspecting victim. At this point, the family is aware of his presence as they try their best to stay hidden, waiting for law enforcement to arrive. Twenty minutes later, the police arrive at the scene, only to find the machete he left behind. Whoever this man was remains a mystery, as the family now lives in fear of another late night visit. For sale. This next video comes from Reddit, but has recently been trending on TikTok. One night, a real estate agent was recording a video of herself inside one of the properties she was trying to sell. Usually, clients request to see the houses and she often does a video tour for them to see the inside. One day, she does a small intro leading to the inside of the house, while waiting for some clients to arrive. Join me on a tour of this charming three and a half. Whoop. Join me on a tour of this charming three bed, two and a half bath house on a quiet suburban street. Every day, you'll feel like you're coming home to your own little oasis. The moment she enters the place, she hears a door in the back moving by itself, while also sensing an unpleasant atmosphere, so she quickly rushes out to get her camera. She also mentioned that when the clients arrived for the in-person tour, they kept hearing doors inside opening on their own. But that's not the worst of it, because some clients were interested to see a late night tour of the same place she just came from earlier that day as they were curious of how the interior lighting inside looked like at night. Seeing as it's part of her job to try and sell the house, she was obliged to grant their request. So she heads over at night time and begins a video introduction. Little did she know something terrifying was about to happen. Watch closely. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. Go ahead, do it again. You're on camera. Oh. 
open this door. Go ahead, open this door. Open this door like you do the other one. Come on, just move a glass or something. Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared. After seeing the alarm just drop onto the floor, the realtor realizes it might be too dangerous to stay inside, so she quickly retreats outside. Upon closer inspection, many viewers noticed something awfully strange. During her second attempt at the intro, one of the pictures on the wall begins to get darker, as if it were morphing into something else, or as if something unseen went past it and opened the door because shortly afterwards the picture returns back to normal. Needless to say, the house definitely has her creeped out, and I'm not sure if she'll continue to try and sell the place, especially once clients start demanding a discount for the haunting. If you have any video recommendations, you can send them over to depthsofdespairbusiness at gmail.com. The Salt Line as you may know, Zark is a man who has been haunted by an evil spirit and has since moved houses on more than one occasion since this has begun. Recently, he has moved to Dubai and has put up salt lines around the entrances to his house to stop this entity from entering. One of these salt lines was set up on the balcony. However, there was a recent storm in Dubai which he believes must have ruined the salt line possibly allowing his attached entity to enter the house. One night while sleeping, Zark's wife wakes up to some strange noises coming from the house. After she alerts him, he decides to go and check it out. And that's when he discovers the balcony door was left slightly open. He prays that it hasn't entered the house, but it looks like it's already too late. बालकनी का दरवाजा खुला हुआ था तुमने बंद नहीं किया क्या मैंने किया था जी अभी बस दुआ करो कि अंदर ना आए अरे ये अंदर आ गया क्या इट्स ओके मैं देखता हूँ तुम डरो मत दरवाजा मत खोलो अंदर आ जाएगा बच्चा सो रहा है ठीक है डरो मत तुम डरू ना इधर कहीं को डर रही हो थोड़ी देर बाद जाता है सब लोग
He opens the door to where the banging is coming from and finds nothing there. A few days later his son starts bleeding from the nose profusely in the middle of the night. Every night. Just like how he did when their maid first left and this all begun. A few nights later he starts having regular nightmares. So Zark decides to consult a Catholic priest regarding the matter and concludes it would be best to send his wife and son to stay with their sister-in-law for a few nights. While staying home alone the priest suggested for him to use St. Michael's prayer when the paranormal disturbance intensifies. It did not end well. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protector.
Be our protection against the snares of the devil. May God repeat you. We humbly. After saying the prayer a demonic hiss can be heard and shortly afterwards he suddenly becomes sick to his stomach, unable to continue being alone in the house. His wife is forced to come back to check on him and an ambulance had to be called in. After checking him they discovered that his blood pressure suddenly became very high. On another night he can be seen sleepwalking around the house standing still on the spot and acting strange almost as if he succumbed to a demonic possession. If we look closely we can see he randomly cuts part of his hair off and has no memory of doing so, but at the same time we can see a mist like figure fly right past him. It seems as though something strong is attached to this family, but as always let me know what you think. The Abandoned School Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill recently set out to explore an old abandoned school in the middle of the night, all by himself. But upon entering, he quickly comes to a halt. There's a lot of movement down there. You hear that? It sounds like somebody's down there. Unable to ignore the mysterious sounds he heard coming from within the building, he decides to set up a few infrared cameras around the place while he continues to venture deep inside. And that's when he comes across something that causes him to be more cautious. It's like this weird string. Looks like a booby trap. Goes all the way up. That's weird. And it goes this way. Stops right there. Goes all the way back. I'll check it out later. This strange string going through the building implies that someone is most likely inside. And it could be a booby trap or some sort of setup as someone lies in wait for an ambush. Despite being aware of the risk, Chris continues anyway, proceeding with caution.
somebody's here. Someone's gotta be here. Probably homeless people. After hearing a strange noise, no matter which part of the building he went to, he began to think someone was lurking nearby. Meanwhile, the camera he set up in the auditorium captures something utterly terrifying. Watch closely. At the back of the auditorium, what looks like a dark shadow figure can be seen moving across the hallway at such a high speed. Judging by its strange movement, I doubt it's human. At the time, Chris didn't know what his camera had captured, so he continued on through the building, until he notices something disturbing. Somebody's down there. What the hell was that noise? Wait a minute. This wasn't like this before. Oh crap. I do not remember this being here. Hello? As he passes through the old sports hall, he discovers that a big metal object is now leaning up against the door, as if to block it. As you can see when Chris passed through here earlier, there was nothing blocking the door, as the metal object was on the floor to the left side. With this, Chris concluded that he was certainly not alone in this building, but he still continues to explore it and it's only a matter of time before he encounters something horrifying. Unfortunately, that's the end of part one, so hopefully we'll see the rest soon. Granny's Ghost An Italian man named Simone has recently decided to visit his grandmother, and she has told him that she has been experiencing many creepy and unexplainable things around the house. Objects can be seen moving on their own, sometimes the window opens by itself, or the TV turns on, and scary voices can be heard coming from all over the house. After being told this, Simone remains skeptical, not sure if she is just losing her mind or not, so he agrees to spend the night in her house, while she is away, to experience these paranormal events for himself. He doesn't expect much to happen, but he will soon come to regret his decision after capturing this. Allora, sono a casa di mia nonna. 
Allora, non so se sentite, praticamente sono a casa di mia nonna da solo. E, e non so se sentite, ci sono un sacco di rumori che vengono da di sopra. Qui e lì. Allora. No, vabbè, la luce non va. Aspetta. Oddly enough, the upstairs lights don't seem to be working. But earlier on in the day, everything was fine according to Simone. He then gets a flashlight to go upstairs and find the source of the strange sounds he has been hearing. Adesso sembra che si cioè, ha smesso tutto quanto. Io non so proprio che senso. Ho paura. Mi sono messo la torcia in bocca come nei film, ma non viene bene uguale, quindi... No vabbè, no vabbè. Simone hears a window and a closet door open all on their own. Even though he is home alone, this is when he starts to realize that his grandma was indeed right and that this is more terrifying than he thought it would be. Vabbè ragazzi, io sono terrorizzato ma proprio nel... Direi che vado via perché nei film consiglio sempre questa cosa qua, quindi non sono, non sono più stupido, non, ti giuro non riesco, vi giuro non riesco neanche a parlare oggi perché fatti. No vabbè aspetta aspetta aspetta. Oh no vabbè, il letto è fatto. Il letto... Gli sportelli sono aperti. E il letto... Cioè prima il letto non era così. Era... Non ho la voce, ve lo giuro. Non ho la voce. Ok, no. no. Ora vado. Mi sembra il caso di... Proseguire con questa cosa, non so come. Il vaso non era lì, il vaso non era lì. Il, questo vaso non era lì. Non era assolutamente lì. Era boh, qualche scalino più giovane, non era qui. Ok. No. The chandelier can be seen swinging on its own, 
at this point he's had enough and is about to exit the house. But he hears something moving upstairs and goes to check it out. He then notices that the bed covers have now been moved and all the cabinet doors are open. Now at his limit he wants to leave but randomly a vase has been moved from the side of the stairs to the top of the stairs. But just momentarily, a vague shadow-like figure can be seen coming towards Simone as he enters the doorway to his grandparents' bedroom, completely scaring him away from the house. A few months later, he finds out that the cause of the paranormal activity was most likely due to an old scarf his grandmother won from a church raffle, and after discarding it, the creepy occurrences in the house came to an end. Lurking behind you. User Ekukui uploaded a haunting video where her father's watching cartoons alongside his two daughters. When he notices they both fell asleep, he decides to record the heartfelt moment, but little did he know something horrifying would be captured as well. Nothing here. Oh my god, I'm so. F oh my god, look, legit goosebumps. Oh my god. What the f is that? <gasps> A shadow figure can be seen approaching his sleeping daughter as whatever this thing is growls at them. The man quickly gets up to protect his daughters, but as he does, there. If not just an elaborate ruse, could it be that something evil occur in the house that conjured such an evil entity? Let me know what you think. Unknown colleague. During the late hours of the night, a security guard was working the night shift at an undisclosed facility when he notices a man walks into the establishment. As the man just stands there by the door, he thinks this just might be a new hire he wasn't informed of, so he begins conversing with this man in regards to training procedures. But as the guard invites this person over, this happens. As the guard offers him a chair, the visible shadow of a person can be seen walking towards it. The guard continues to interact with this being as if he sees a normal person. After the remainder of the night passed, the guard called his boss asking her why he wasn't told there was a new guy. Confused since there shouldn't be a new guy, she watches over the surveillance cameras and makes the horrifying realization whatever the guard saw that night wasn't human. Okay, watch this y'all. This man, he called his boss asking him why didn't y'all tell me they had a new employee, right? He constantly looking back, right? He's talking to somebody, right? Just watch, this is creepy. Look, having a kind of whole conversation with somebody, right? Saying that somebody came and he dapping that person off and everything. Now see, look, y'all see when he dapped them off, look what happened. He dapped them off, you see that shadow? And then the shadow goes over here and he pulling the chair out for him. He swear, to, he swear to God he sat there and had a whole conversation with this person. He moved over talking to him and everything. Y'all better protect yourselves. Whatever that was took advantage of him. Don't forget to check out our co-host's channel Dark Moose for some extra creepy content. Subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon. And enjoy some scary videos to bring you extra despair. <laughs> Hidden Tunnel A woman by the name Erin Cloudy was remodeling a 200-year-old Victorian flat she recently purchased when she finds this hidden door underneath her staircase. Curious to find potential storage space deeper down those stairs, she keeps pushing forward. At the end of those stairs, she finds an old tunnel system that seemingly stretches out for miles. And as she explores the halls of this forgotten monument, she finds the secret room with a bread oven 
indicating that this might have been the kitchen area for this underground location. Aaron explains that when purchasing this flat, there was no mention of any of this on the deed, nor by the realtor. Although having a secret lair underneath one's feet might be a haunting thought, Aaron is somewhat happy for the extra space. Unexplained sounds. A man shared a haunting video via Reddit, explaining that for several years now, he's been hearing strange noises inside his house. One night, as he's with his friend watching a baseball game, they're interrupted by a strange dragging sound. There's literally nothing in here. And look how heavy this is. Yeah. Hang on. There's nothing up here. What the crap? There's nothing in here either. Look. I can hear it when we got about halfway down the hallway. Yeah, it stopped. As we got closer. I just heard once. Like I came out and heard like shh. That's all I heard. Yeah, but we heard it. We, we were sitting there. We were just sitting there. And we heard you heard it start. Over. Yeah. Yeah, we heard it start. And it went for like. How long did you go before you got me? It probably went for about 10 seconds, 10 or 15 oh, seconds. let's watch it. Let's watch it. You'll watch it. So As they investigate the source of the sound, within a room full of toys for just a brief second, the face of a toy can be seen moving on its own, looking at them. After reviewing the footage, the boys were left perplexed at the discovery and took their story to Reddit in search of answers. Don't forget to check out our new channel, Stories of Despair. The links are in the description and pinned comment. Enjoy. Subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And follow us over on TikTok.